there's an old man on shore with a tear in his eye. It's hard to believe that the George River caribou herd is now so small that we can no longer hunt caribou. Caribou has been the main meat in Makovic for as long as I can remember. Roast caribou for Sunday dinner was commonplace. But now, in 2013, the herd is down to only 20,000 animals. At its peak in the 1980s, there were about 800,000. So we will need to stop hunting for at least five years. We will miss having caribou on the dinner table, but my husband, John Anderson, will also miss the hunt. In the 60s and 70s, he used to have to go all the way to Nain, a distance of about 200 kilometers, and then inland from there. We used to go a long ways. We used to go into the pearly gates. We used to go into Antlock, and we also used to go into Nain Bay. Nain Bay was a, a pretty hard spot to get up over. Used to be always icy. Some of the trips we made, we we did like in four or five, six days. But most of the trips back in them days was either two weeks or more for for each trip. And it was always cold and always drifting. Just see the tops of the hills, a lot of them traveling. These days, with GPS and that, that would you wouldn't even have to look at the land. Just follow the GPS. It was always in January, back in, in the early days, because that's when the caribou came across. We had smaller machines, they were 12 and 15 and even 10 horsepower machines, not compared to these days. And we used to have a lot more snow in January than we get back back now. I remember we left here like um, 7 o'clock in the morning and got to hope till dinner time. We made it to uh, Big Bay Neck and wind came up pretty strong. We could only see tops of the hills most of the day so we camped there for the night. We were up early the next morning and got out to warm up, gas up the machines, warm them up and one machine wouldn't start so we had to pull her into the tent and warm her up and, and get her going. And it was the same thing, drifting just see the top of the hills. We made it to Davis Inlet that day and we had to stay there. Next morning we were up and we went and we we got down to name probably four or five o'clock that evening, gassed up and got a guy, Joseph Coyley. Next morning we went in the country and we didn't get anything the first day and it was pretty cold. We would stay in the igloo and in the morning there would be like two inches of frost over all the sleeping bags, everybody's right across. And the guys are Joseph Coyley from Nain, he would put down a deer skin and he had two little blankets or something stripped right down. Us guys, we would sleep with our snowsuits on and everything in the sleeping bag. Cap on, mitts on. Next day it was blowing hard, so we were in the igloo all day, pretty much. The boys used to go out and check on the hills there, didn't see anything. Third day we got, and by the time we got dug out, it was about 10 o'clock. We went and got our got our caribou and got back to the igloo for the night there again. Next morning we were still drifting but we, we left for Nain. We got down in the, in the woods, in the big brook there, down over the Purdy Gates and uh, the brook had busted out. So we were all day cutting with, with axes, cut woods, cross the brook one place and go like three or four miles and do the same thing. Hook two machines on the common thick. We got out to Nain and, and back home, so that was probably my second caribou hunting trip. Took us about 10, 11 days altogether to go down and come back again. There were a couple of years in the 1990s when the caribou came all the way south. You could see them walking across Makovic Harbor and out in Makovic Bay probably in search of a good supply of caribou moss, their main food. John has begun to hunt moose. Makovic had two licenses in 2011 and six licenses in 2012. John was lucky to get a moose in both years. You do not have to go far to get a moose. That makes for a less expensive hunt. And there is more meat in the animal. Most will say it does not taste as good as caribou. And John misses the adventure of the caribou hunt. There's been no caribou hunt last year and this year. I really missed the hunt. I missed the 
going off the, on the land and getting the caribou. The caribou is much better tasting than moose and much easier to handle. But you had to go a lot further and I enjoyed going off on the land. And a lot of people, a lot of hunters around here feel the same way. They missed getting out there and it's cold, it's hard work, but in the end it's very rewarding when you get your caribou. And we went, quite a few times we went and not got our caribou. But the last few years it's been harder and harder. The caribou are not coming right out to the to the land like they used to before. They're staying further back. When they migrated up through here in the 90s, we used to get them, uh, they used to come right around the houses here. We were kind of spoiled that year. We could just go off and get a fresh one whenever we wanted one. And then as the next few years, they started to get come less and less further south. And that means we had to go down inside. We went right into Border Beacon, in, into uh, Davis Inlet way there for a few times and got our caribou. And the last two years that we got caribou, we went into Harp Lake. And that's a very, very hard pool in there. It's hard to get up on the land. But it's all rewarding in the end, and we really miss the caribou hunt. Hopefully they'll come back again. I would really like to get at least one more caribou hunt in. I guess I'll put that on my bucket list. We hope that the caribou will come back in numbers and not be just a thing of the past, a memory. He sees another storm coming by. He sees another life that you have to find. Still the boys from the tickle don't wait on more. Go out on the water, go on with it There's an old man on shore with a tear.